everyone. Welcome to the second episode of my home studio renovation. Today I'm gonna update the entrance to my room. The initial door opening was 75 centimeters, and after I removed wall finishing, I realized that there is a room for expansion, for up to one meter. Along the entrance axis, I have another door balcony opening, so I thought that it would be amazing to create some kind of an enfilade with aligned glass doors, which will visually expand the space and bring more light to the hallway. To follow a more sustainable and affordable way, I searched the second-hand store and found 60-year-old double door, which perfectly fits the opening. Firstly, I took off all the door hardware, including the knob, hinges and latch. I used a screwdriver for it. Next I removed glazing bead. I tried to be gentle, not to destroy the glass. Actually, it was an extra caution because eventually I bought new glass panels without tint and a better modern pattern. Next step was to scrape off the old finish. I tried a couple of ways. First, I took a heat gun and tried to remove all the oil finishing by heating it and scraping it off. It was too slow and not really effective. So I decided to sand it with a centric sander, but the problem was that the oil paint was heated up by constant friction and clogged papers. So, belt sander was a better choice. It took me a while because I wanted to reveal wooden texture of the door. I used 60 grit sandpaper first and finished with 120. Once the main part was done, I proceeded with working on the openings. There used to be a plywood piece at the bottom. The original panel was quite in a bad condition, so I cut out a new one. It needs to be a little loose because you need to keep in mind the expansion and contraction ability of the wood. Next, I continued with beading. Old ones were too hard to clean and I broke some of them while removing, so I bought new ones. And before cutting, I measured each opening separately because they weren't identical. To cut a 45 degree angle, I used a miter saw. I assembled them before gluing in, just to make sure they fit. To cover all imperfections, I applied wood stackle with a spatula. Once one side was completed, I flipped the door and inserted new glass panels. They will be safely supported with beading from both sides. The final touch was to apply two coats of white paint. I used a semi-transparent one not to cover pattern of the wood. And here is how the result looks. 
I can say that I'm satisfied because this is exactly how I pictured it in my mind. The only thing rest is to install doors in place and here comes fun because I don't have a door frame and I have to cut it from scratch. To make a door jamb, first I cut it in three pieces. To fit them together I need to carve ends of two side jams to rest a headpiece on top. To assemble door jamb I pre-drill holes and then I drive a screw using drill. It's very important to pre-drill not to destroy the wood. Once the jamb is ready I install it and carve a recess for hinges. Grandma shared a recipe with me on how to clean copper. I used a half of glass of salt and a glass of vinegar. After boiling it for some time, it gets beautiful pinkish brown tint. If you want the same result, try it out. And I think that I need to buy new handles because those ones are golden. Then I just needed to assemble everything. Initially, I install handles upside down. <laughs> I know. But I corrected myself immediately. Then I screwed in hinges and hanged the door panel. And it worked, and I cannot be happier. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I will continue working on this home studio renovation videos and on a home studio renovation in real life.